So this is a bit of a different video uh, with regard specifically to how I have this connected. So it's connected the turbine to the rectifier. So the turbine to the rectifier, the DC out here of the rectifier actually goes straight to the batteries. And then this meter in turn almost is connected in between the battery and the dump load, which I have here, which is according to the information on the side is a 300 watt I'm just going to try and adjust the light 300 watt 24 volt there you go so the whole purpose of this experiment and there isn't hardly any wind coming in is just to see how much exactly that dump load uses so bear in mind it's connected to 23.69 volts worth of electricity so i'm going to hit start and obviously the battery voltage will come down because there's no wind So right, that, interestingly, it's exactly 10 amps and dropping very slowly. As you can see, is the battery voltage. So I'm just going to turn it off. Now I'm just going to connect the bigger dump load, which I will show you a size comparison of. So this is the 24 volt, 600 watt. Sorry, it's upside down, but you can see it fairly clearly. So yeah, I'm just going to connect that up and we'll see what that's saying. Move that one out of the way. So right now I'm just going to concentrate on the meter because the larger dump load doesn't have a switch. So we'll just stay focused on that for a minute. I'm gonna hold it in my hand and just till it starts getting warm, okay? And that, interestingly, is only using the same. Strange. Right. I think what's happening is only one side is heating up, so I'm just gonna have a quick play around with the uh, wiring at the top end and we'll be back in a bizzle. Okay, so I'm gonna temporarily connect the 600 watt one again. Well, it's supposed to be 600 watts. Oh, that's interesting. Now I've had to fiddle around with the wires, look. So maybe it's just a poor connection. So that is using a whole lot of juice. Well, a fair bit, right. And it's getting very hot already. Well, let me have another play around with the connectors and see if we can get it up to what it's supposed to be. Right, I've given it a bit of a clean up. So now let's connect it and see what it's going to take. It was 16.67 amps before. No, that's just the same. So that's 355 watts approximately. You see it's dropping quite quickly as the voltage of the battery is saying no. So yeah, well, that's all I wanted to know really. So jolly good. I realized the other thing actually that I wanted to do was connect them to 12 volts and see what they're saying. So give me a minute. So, let's see what this is saying. This is supposedly the 600 watt one. And that's pulling 10 amps, approximately. Let's just test the other one. So this dump load has a switch connected to it there. So when I hit the switch, it will start pulling the juice from the battery. Nothing coming in from the turbine at the minute. It's disconnected. So that's five amps. So at least I know how much, if I need to use just a little bit, I can plug that one in. And I'm just gonna plug, connect the turbine back in because we're actually starting to get some wind. So what's happening now is because we're getting a little bit of wind, the turbine is increasing the battery voltage. Obviously you can't see the amps being made because we have the rectifier connected straight to the batteries and then the dump load connected to this meter.